So, I was making some smash burgers the other night on the griddle and they were delicious, obviously, but I thought to myself, man, I'm not using all of the space on this thing. I mean, sure, they were good. They were a lot better than whatever my neighbor was making on his stupid gas grill. Oh. Oh, hey, Steve. Sorry I didn't see you there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, just, yeah, I'm shooting a video. Oh, yeah, I remember your suggestion. Maybe, maybe I will make a video about that quinoa salad. But as I'm using this half of the griddle, I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like, it's like using an 18-wheeler to move out a one-bedroom apartment. We all know that's a two pickup truck job, you know? Like, honestly, side note, that's why I don't own a truck too, because uh, all it tells your friends when you have a truck is, this guy's ready for free labor, you know? But he calls you up and he's like, hey man, can you help me and my girlfriend move out of our apartment? You're like, no dude, this is like your second apartment and third girlfriend in the last year. Get your life together. So, what I decided to do is to get one of those big old King Kong five pound logs of ground beef. The lunch lady special. You can make a lot of sloppy joes out of this bad boy. And though I didn't make sloppy joes out of it, I did come up with five pretty good meals, I think. A couple of them that you can throw in the freezer, prep ahead, pull them out later in the week. I started off this cook in the kitchen actually by boiling some water to make the ziti while my griddle warmed up. Went ahead, threw it in there, cooked off the ziti. This was like a pasta a casserole that I'm making. Drained it, rinsed it all out. And then I also started getting ready for my second cook, which is a chili. So we're gonna have a ziti bake and we're gonna have a chili. I went through ahead, threw some beans, threw some diced tomatoes, vinegar, garlic, chili seasoning packet. I mean, now look, this is a generic chili, okay? Don't judge me on this chili, I'm sure. I'm not trying to show you like the greatest chili recipe ever. I'm just trying to give you the idea to make extra ground beef and make a chili and freeze it. I'm sure you have a better recipe. Please share it in the comments because I love trying other people's chili recipe. So then I cut up some veggies that are gonna go with the beef. We got an onion. We also got a zucchini that we sliced and then some mushrooms that were already sliced up. And now on the griddle, I put my big old log on there. We're gonna go ahead and put down some peppers and onions. That's to go with my taco filling. I'm making some taco filling out of this. We're gonna do five meals, remember, out of this ground beef. So, so far we got ziti, chili, taco, and then the mushrooms is for a hamburger helper that I'm gonna freeze and I'm gonna make hamburger helper later in the week. And then last, you'll see what we do last. It's uh, one of my favorites. So, once the ground beef was pretty much all cooked, I tried to get as much fat off as possible. This was 70-30. So, I mean, there's a lot of fat in this, but it was on sale, so I got the 70-30. And I got a griddle with a big grease trough, so why not? I don't care. So now it's all cooked. The veggies are all diced up. They're sauteed up. I brought over my pot with the pasta, the marinara in it. I added what I thought was about one-fifth of the beef for one pound of beef, some onions, some zucchini, mixed it all together took it back inside, put it in a nine by 13, topped it again with some cheese, and then I popped it in the freezer. Boom, later that week, I pull it out of the freezer, I baked it in the oven for about an hour, an hour and a half, and I served it with some garlic bread. It was a little dry, so I would recommend maybe doing one can of sauce in the ziti and then one on the side to kind of top it. So that's what I would do next time, but you get the idea, make yourself a little casserole with some pasta and sauce. Next is the chili. Um, I go ahead and put some more beef and the veggies in there and you can notice that it's in a Ziploc bag in the crock pot That's because I did not have any crock pot liners thought I did but I didn't that's okay So I kept it in the crock pot in the freezer so that I could pull it out in the morning And it slides right back into the crock pot turn it on low go to work come back six hours later Boom easy chili for me and my wife. I put it on top of a bowl of Fritos with some cheese and sour cream for like a little frito chili bowl. I have walking taco, whatever you want to call it, but it was delicious and that's how I like to eat my chili. Follow that up with the ground beef for the tacos, like I said, that's just the onions and the green pepper and the ground beef. I put it in a Gladware container, froze it, pulled it out, put it in a pan with some water and the taco seasoning to defrost it and to cook it and get the taco seasoning in there. Then instead of making plain tacos, I actually made a taco bake, 
which my mom used to make this all the time. It's really, really good. It's just, you take this crescent roll, you open it up, you take your taco filling, you put it in the middle, add some cheese, fold it back up, give it a little bit of a twist at the top there, bake it in the oven for whatever time it says on the crescent roll container. I don't know how long I baked it for, but it's right on the side of the Pillsbury container. Come out, serve it with some lettuce, maybe some tomato, get yourself a nice little taco bake. It's delicious, I'd highly recommend trying it. Oh, the hamburger helper. So in this pan, I was making this the next night so I didn't freeze it. I put another, you know, one pound of the beef with the mushrooms and some onions got in there too. And then the next day I just threw it in my cast iron with the hamburger helper mix, the milk, the water, the packet seasoning. And look, if you're too good for hamburger helper, you're at the wrong YouTube channel, okay? I'm a real person with a real job and a one year old and a wife. I can't cook these meals every night. Sometimes you wanna come home, throw on some hamburger helper, and then just watch Netflix, okay? So I would highly recommend doing this. We like the stroganoff one. It was nice to just be able to pull this out and make it in like 15 minutes. Finally, what we ate that night was egg roll in a bowl. I've done this before in a couple other videos, but I just wanna do it again to let you guys know how delicious it is. It's so easy. There's the last pound of ground beef. I put down some sugar snap peas and then some of the veggies that are left over along with the cabbage, just one bag, it's like a buck fifty of cabbage goes on there. You just start mixing it all together. I added some teriyaki sauce, I added some sesame oil, I wanted to add some soy sauce but I didn't realize it was out and it was too late because everything was already rolling but you definitely want to add some soy sauce because that's where a lot of your salt is going to be coming from for this. And then you just kind of saute it all up there with the cooked beef for a couple minutes and uh, plate it up, serve it, make sure you put some yum yum sauce on it make sure you put some yum yum sauce on it because it is a delicious meal with the yum yum sauce. Let me know what some of your favorite ground beef recipes are in the comments or if you have some griddle prep you've done. This is my first time really trying to go into the griddle prep and I think it's something I want to explore more. So if you have any suggestions, I would love to love to hear them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I think I'm going to start my diet next week. Have a good one and keep on griddling.